Hi guys, it's Tony. Today we are going to take a look on the best design tools to learn in 2024. Let's start with Spline, which is the easiest 3D tool that you can learn and use every day. Whether you want to create 3D visuals to your websites or to create a fancy 3D scenes with actual physics included. And as you can see from their website, already the biggest companies in the world are using Spline. And with the recent interest towards AR, VR and other technologies, I'm pretty sure that Spline will become a next big thing during the 2024. It's quite easy to get started with Spline, since they have quite extensive library that you can freely use, and also you can use different 3D models that the community has created. Here's a few different examples from the community that you can use for free. For example, you can use this artistic mockup file to create cool mockups from your UI designs. Or you can use and modify this quite innovative hover effect for your landing page or whatever you want to use it for. Also Spline has pretty cool physics engine in place which you can use to create different cool 3D things like this Yenga example here which again is a freebie from the community. And it's also quite easy to create your own 3D scenes. You can either create your own items or you can just use the library that Spline provides for you and then you can modify it to match your needs. Here's an example how you can easily modify this chair, for example. And as you can see from here, you can quite easily modify the scene to match your needs. For example, change the tool's color, change the lighting, and so on. And the nicest thing about the spline is that you can actually use these 3D models inside different platforms and environments like in websites or even in iOS apps pretty easily. So you can just like copy paste this inside the app or website. And that actually works as a nice segue for our next tool, which is Framer which in my opinion is the best no-code website builder there is. If you have ever used Figma or any other design tool like that, moving into Framer is super easy for you and I truly suggest you to try it out. The best part about the Framer is that sites published with it are actually super powerful and search engine optimized and their performance is amazing. And if you want to learn Framer, you can just go into their Framer community where you can find hundreds and hundreds of free resources, tutorials, and of course, super nice people who are willing to help you out, including me, as you can see here. And if you want to get an easy start for your site, you can just go into the template library where you can browse hundreds of free and paid templates. Here, for example, we can take a look on my own personal template that I've created, the uprise, which you can purchase and easily edit afterwards to match your needs. And as you can see here, in my opinion, the Framer sites are the best sites in the internet because usually they have these cool little interactions and transitions in place that you don't see in every site in the world. And here you can see a few different examples of what you can do with it. And you can actually find a tutorial to most of these in my channel. So feel free to check it out. And also if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And publishing these sites is as easy as pressing one button. And here you can see this site running in actual website. And as you can see, this example has an actual 3D model created with Spline running inside the Framer site in an actual website. Our next tool for 2024 is Rive, which is a platform where you can create an interactive animations. Usually the animations are static and you can't actually change different states inside of them, but Rive is actually allowing you as a designer 
to create different variables and different interactions inside one animation so you can actually do some of the work that usually only the developers have been able to do. Here's a one quick pulsation animation that I did which works in a way that the animations normally does so it's basically looping one state but as you can see from this an another like hard animation you can actually build different transitions and states inside of it. They also have this huge community pool of animations which you can browse and as you can see here we have this cool rating animation where you can give different values for the rating and you can see the animation updating so you can basically use that inside your app or your website to actually match what your user is doing so you can basically create only one animation with different states instead of creating five different animations for each of these states and the last but definitely not least design tool that you should be learning in 2024 is Figma. This has already been a industry standard for like past few years, but they're evolving all the time and adding new features that allows you to more rapidly prototype and also allowing tighter integration with developers and designers. If you're new with Figma, you can start by browsing through the Figma community. They have a huge set of different files, including different iOS design guidelines, different app guidelines and design systems that you can browse for free. For total beginners, I would recommend browsing through the Untitled UI to get in touch with how the layout should work, what kind of different design features you need to build an actual app. Normally designers, including me, use Figma to create user flows, different wireframes, different prototypes, and also as a handoff tool for developers. Here you can see one example of the prototype I have created in Figma. If you want to learn how to do this, you can find the video from the description and from my channel. That was it, thanks a lot. I hope that you found this video valuable and if you liked it, feel free to like the video and also subscribe to my channel where I'm going to share different tutorials, different tricks and tips about these design tools that I just shared to you. See you later guys, thanks.